I don't know. I don't know what the new job, but I probably would have figured out a way to come with you because but, um, it's a good time. But yeah, uh, unfortunately, you know, or not unfortunately. I love being a dad. I don't know why I said unfortunately. Unfortunately, but, I have to hang out with my daughters. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna spend time with my daughters, but this this week, you know, I don't have them this week until Friday night. So pretty much until Friday night, I'll be all dialed in, and then even once they come over, they'll spend some time with me watching a little tournament basketball this weekend. And they love it just as much as you, right? Oh yeah. I don't know about that. Not really, but they they do like <laughs> basketball. Another I, basketball topic, kind of local. Sure about that. Local topic that uh, Jim put put across our desk today in our uh, pre-show meeting is that uh, there's a brother and sister from St. Joseph that could make NCAA basketball history. Um, the brother plays for Northwest Missouri State Division II school, just a little north of us here. The sister plays for Drury, a Division II school out of Springfield. But uh, Diego and Deja Bernard, they are uh, kind of stars on their team, and they're both in the Division II tournament, which is going to be played this week. And if their teams were to advance and play in the championship game, it would be the first time a brother-sister duo has ever done that. Well, I, and I wonder if last year they both were in the championship game. Northwest won, got a trip to play at Duke, and I think only lost to Duke by six points the first game of the year. Uh, is that right? Yeah. It, yeah. it was close. Um and um, De- uh, DeAsia's Drury team lost, I think it was around eight points or something. So I wonder if that was the first time, you know, they both, you know, brother-sister duo were playing in a oh, national they, championship yes, game. Yes, they did both play in the championship last year. Um, the Bearcats won, and, yeah, the, the Panthers lost. And they were 35-0 and 0 yeah. heading into the championship game. Lost sixty nine sixty. Oh, in the Whoa. semifinals, actually. Oh, national semifinals. Yeah, this, and, this and there's year, a great this, story on that. If you go to kcur dot org, that's the. Uh, yeah, that's what I got pulled up right here. Greg Itchlin uh, wrote that story. I, I was at the William uh, at the Rockers game when he was writing that story, but a really great story to read. Yeah, so um, very good stuff. Like like I said, uh, brother sister duo trying to make history and. They're from St. Joe, which is just probably about 45 minutes north of where we sit right now. Um, you know, so a little well, local news, pretty cool deal, right? Two fun facts about the two, and I'll, I'll let you go on from here. DeAsia Bernard, 400 steals, 500 rebounds, 600 assists in her career. Best 28-28 game I've ever seen in regulation was uh, – NDCDIS or whatever it is out of St. Louis. I can't MICDS. Remember. Yes. Can you say the name? Actual name? No. I have no <laughs> idea what it stands for. By yeah. the way, they just hired Fred Bouchard as their new football coach. Did they? Cool. Um, but um, it went double overtime, and she single handedly won it with her defense. Fun fact about Diego Bernard last year at the, of course, they just won the MIAA championship over at Municipal this past week. Last year, he had an inbounds pass off the guy's back, could have dunked it, but finger rolls it in, and he's not even six foot tall. Nice. Awesome. Diego um, Bernard. So, so yeah, that would be pretty not, cool. Not even six foot, so there's hope for me. There you go. <laughs> eh, I don't think I still have what, uh, You don't have the jumping beans that Diego has. Yeah. So, uh, any other basketball? You say, you say white man can't jump? No, I said jumping beans. That's true. Any other basketball stuff before we – Transition to a little football here. Um, well, I was going to. We <laughs> talked about uh, you got, I know, Kansas City, Kansas Community College. You've got uh, North Central Missouri College up in Trenton. Both those coaches played at North Central Missouri College in um, D2 uh, junior college ball. Could be facing off against each other for the national championship. It's possible. I don't really? know how the brackets brought out or not. And then there is another one that played at North Central Missouri College that is an assistant coach on another team that made the tournament. So uh, I think Kate, I think Johnson County girls may be making it too as well. So okay. some really good junior college ball in this area. Yeah, there is. You've seen it. Yeah, it, it was fun to cover that um, this year and work and do some stats. Actually got my check from the weekend over them. So is it gone? A million dollars. It's pretty good. Um, did one, you spend it all? One million. I have not spent it yet. Did your wife spend it all? No. Um, so – Kansas City Glory, we've been talking about them a little bit. They're gearing up for their season again. They're doing a uniform reveal and a fundraiser on the 21st of March. 
So if you have interest in that, check them out on Facebook or Instagram. <clears throat> and uh, you can purchase tickets to that. It's an open bar, $50, and you get to see the new uniforms and all that. So pretty cool deal, I think. Yeah, one thing about the uh, – I, when I've seen the – I follow them on Instagram, and I've seen the logos. They're 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 aw- And the logos and, the, and everything, the colors and everything, they're sharp. Yeah. Like, they're sharp. And I think, you know, <clears throat> the thing about the uh, that team is that they're going to have one of the best athletes in women's football on their team. Yeah. So and any- smartest. Uh, yes. So anytime – friend of the show. Yep. Friend of the show. Been on the show. So anytime you have that. I mean, you're looking pretty good. I mean, me and you, we we announced we did PA or we did we announced the uh, games for the uh, Titans last yeah, sure. year, and a constant thing we thought about and talked about off air, on air, on, and also on air was that yeah, he should probably keep the ball in her hands. Uh, Liz Sowers was Sowers, definitely the best uh, athlete on that field. Yeah, yeah. RPO, each and every week. I mean, RPOs are the way of the future for football right now, mm-hmm. and that would have been the way to go uh, last year. So Which, I, I will say this, you know, we, we were uh, we probably were not the best announcers that have ever done a football game. But no, I don't I don't agree. I felt like we got we got a little better each week. And, you know, uh, we, we were trying to we were trying to on. do a good job. <clears throat> I mean, I don't want to throw shade. No, but okay, we, I'm not, we okay, not, not going to throw shade. I'm going to say, yeah, OK, we got better every week. I can't judge. You. I never heard. Yeah. We yeah, uh we yeah you know, I, we, I we, we did not we were not given all the tools either that it takes to be the best announcers you can be that's a good way to say it um you know but we, we tried to do a good job and moving forward I mean the Kansas City you, Glory I, I will say this real quick without what? having a headset on and blocking out all the noise the background noise you guys were talking into a phone yep and yes. That had to feel awkward. It I mean, did. I've done, I've it was done, crazy. okay, I've done games where something goes wrong with your equipment. Your next backup is pick up the phone, call the station, and talk into your phone. That's your that's your backup plan. Right. That's hard to do. Yeah. One, you feel really if you're in the crowd, you feel really weird. So it it, it was very awkward, um, but we tried to make the best of it, and you know, but Kansas City Glory. They, you know, like I said, they got this uniform re- re- event coming up. They're going to be so glorious. Check it out. And they'll be good. Everything, yeah, I'm t- literally, I'm telling you, if they, everything if, they, I've if, seen, they, if they center the offense around Sowers, yeah. like they're straight. Everything I sure. have seen about them just shows organization, I feel like. I agree. So so far. I I'm agree. rooting for I them. Agree. I agree. Um, I am 100% rooting for them. So moving on, <clears throat> next topic. It's been coming out that – the Cowboys, it was actually out there on Twitter that they offered him $105 million guaranteed, about 33 per year. Um, but some people are saying that that offer was from September and that last Tuesday they made an offer bigger than that to Dak because Dak wants to be more than Jared Goff. Would you say he wants to be a chief? I want him to be a chief. You want Dak to be a chief? Sure, why not? Oh, backup. Yeah, yeah. We won't pay him that much. Okay. We'll pay him about. We'll uh, pay him about hey, a million. We, we, we'll I don't. Know, we don't have a very good backup right now. We'll pay he, him. Wait, we'll pay him one point one. He could be the mil, the backup yeah. if he wants. He he wants he wants from what I was reading today, and I was trying to check into all this, but he wants one hundred eleven or one hundred ten point five. He wants more than golf, which is the number one guaranteed money. Goff's one, Wentz is two, and I think Russell Wilson was three. That is, yeah, props to Wilson. I'm sorry, not props to Wilson. Props to Seattle for getting that deal done because I think the Russell Wilson deal came after those guys, right? I think so, but I'm not 100%. I don't know about that, but props to Seattle for somehow locking Wilson in for less guaranteed money than Goff. I'll take Russell Wilson over Jared Goff any day. Yeah. And I, I'm not saying – and you know what? Jared Goff's a f- – he's an okay quarterback. He's fine. He's not trash. He's fine. Super Bowl hangover. So we'll actually see – you know, Super Bowl hangover is real. Uh, it's real. It is. It is real. It's a real thing. Uh, and we'll see how that goes next year. With Dak Prescott, I've always been in the camp of Dallas should go ahead and just pay him. I think he is good enough to win a Super Bowl for you. He is a good enough quarterback. Do I think he's top five? I don't know about that. For sure, top ten. 
for sure top ten. He's not. The, he's not the one. The one is Mahomes. Uh, you know, uh, other than that, I mean, it's debatable where he fits with all those guys. And it's debatable if you if you would take him over Carson Wentz sometimes because Carson Wentz does some good stuff. To me, Carson Wentz can't stay healthy. To me, Carson Wentz uh, should not be number two. Yeah, I feel you there. I think Philadelphia made a bad business decision. No, no. Well, on the actual contract, actually, Carson Wentz is actually cheaper. It's crazy. I'm talking about guaranteed money. No, it's guaranteed money. It's guaranteed money, but as guaranteed far as like the money. full contract, Wentz is actually cheaper than a lot of the other guys. But he's two because they signed Wentz money. when he was hurt. So and they Dak to wants him. to be first in guaranteed money. He wants to be one. That's what I'm seeing. Oof. So, oof. to me, to me, if 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 that's his sticking point, then bye. I mean, at this point, I'm gonna franchise him and I'm gonna try to trade him. Or are you? Are you really? Him, or make him play this year under the franchise tag? Would you trade him? Hey, you know, I'm, trade, I'm you not know, making him the highest trading, paid quarterback in football. You know, I'm not tra- doing it. You know, trading means a rebuild. Draft somebody. Here, here's the thing. Draft. I don't know. Here's here's the other thing. He doesn't know. He knows he doesn't have a lot of years left. He's trying. I mean, Dak. Pass, Dak? Well, I mean, he's got a lot, but he doesn't have those lot. He doesn't have a lot of gear. Like Patrick Mahomes is willing to work right now to keep this team together. Different reasons for different each person's well, Mahomes decisions. Mahomes is only like two years younger than that. You know what? I'll but agree with you. You see on what that. I'm saying? Where I'm going? I agree I'm, with you. I'm, I'm, I'm the not language, the language you're getting from the two quarterbacks is very different. Mahomes has actually put out language out there where he is saying he would take team friendly deal. Which is crazy. I, I'm a I'm a pro player, dude. Mm-hmm. Which is so it's crazy to me. I I am more than happy to pay my homies the two hundred, the five year two hundred and highest guarantee because he's earned it and I think he's worth it. If he's and willing, I agree if he, with that. If he's willing to take less, or he's saying, "Hey, I'll take less." That way you can keep. I can keep Tyreek for a long time. I can keep Kelsey for a long time. Two different Great. markets. Two. Dak, Dak's language is not like that. Like, Dak's language is pay me. So, well, look, and, but and, two different markets, real quick, and then also, yeah. How how long will Dallas stay with what Dak has been doing, or when will they jump to the next quarterback? You know what I'm saying? There's I do, yeah, yeah. There's not as much security for him right now as there is, say, Mahomes. So with the Dak thing, you have to you have to think about, and I I actually would sign Dak. Okay, so when You'd I make say, him the highest paid quarterback in football right now, uh, you know what? If I could get it done before the new CBA, sure, sure, because the next highest paid quarterback will be next year. So Dak will only be the highest paid quarterback for a few months. Uh, if I could get I'm him, not, well, I'm if not I get him signed, up that if, much of my cap for him. What's what's Dallas's cap at? I mean, I don't, I don't know the numbers, but I'm just saying, like, I'm not. So you look at those top three, okay? Like I said, I think Carson Wentz should you have not to do, have got you that have money. To do his, you have to do his best for the the Cowboys. Yeah, Tom and Brady. you have to do his best when he. Th- it's not Tom Brady. <laughs> I mean, he was he he's all in on Tom Brady if he came in. If, I, if it happens, I don't think. I, don't so. think, I, think it does. I think Brady's actually. I don't, I actually I've think, said all along he's going back to New England. I think Brady's actually not that. I, Brady is the goat. I don't think he is the, is great right but now. But he's going back to New England. He's he's. He, yeah, but what I'm saying is, Carson Wentz. Okay, right. yes, that that was a bad deal by Philadelphia. I don't think so. So that's an anomaly. But you look at Jared. No, I don't Goff. think it. How is it a bad deal by Philly? What did he do to get him to the Super Bowl? Nick Foles came in and played half Literally, the year and got him there. That's no, it's not true. Nick Foles came in and played like four games and got him there. Carson Wentz before he gets hurt is the. But he gets NBA. hurt every year. I agree with that. He's but, been on the sideline more games than he's been on the field, and you just gave this guy you no, made him no. the second highest paid quarterback in the league. No, 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 no. Incorrect. Incorrect. When you say that, you say it's guaranteed money, not highest, not second highest quarterback in the league. Guaranteed money. Yes, second most guaranteed. It's not the same thing. He's actually cheaper than he would have been if he actually would have stayed healthy and signed after this year. It's a cheaper. That was a cheaper contract they signed him to. Anyway, I, guaranteed money to me is. The, the measuring stick there. If you Jared Goff it, took his team to a Super Bowl. Okay. Yes. He he lost, but he he got him there. Yeah, right? and I'm good. And you know what? If and I was I'm a, good with him him being one, I'm not good with Wentz being two because he can, he's he's not available. The best ability is availability. Okay, I, he I hear it. you. I Russell hear you. Wilson. He was he was. Yeah, okay, Russell Wilson I, I is, is a bad play call away from having two. 
Super Bowl rings. Yes. I mean, he's got one, but.